Yeah. Okay. I'm not sure what we're all going to be able to see here. There's not much doing that. How I want to do this. I may just hold this one. It's my hand. Because now we're going to be attempting. If I can get this piece of paper with my directions on it to sit bloody well still. There we go. I'm going to be attempting to update the firmware in my Humminbird. Now, one thing I noticed when I went online to get this software file is there's a million different versions of this thing. And I'll show you when this thing starts up the number you need. That's exactly what you need. Whatever this is, the Chirp SI GPS G2N. That's what you need because there's a software file for all of these things that are very different. You can have the different sizes, the G3s, the side imaging DI, SI or down imaging DI. I mean, there's a million different things. So the first thing it says to do is uh, restore your factory defaults. So let's do that. We can go to menu. Go away. No, no, no. There we are. <laughs> that's about right too <laughs> 1.3 feet that's about how high off the asphalt I am so that's kind of neat okay so now that we've done that I have saved the software to this little tiny micro SD card I also saved it to a maxi SD card, but I uh, wasn't sure which one was which. So we're going to need that, and it's, you need a 32 gig card. I just randomly happen to have one sitting around because I did. But these can be had for, I don't know, 10, 20 bucks, maybe at Walmart or whatever. But don't lose them. They usually come with a little adapter that looks like this because it's rare to find a computer that actually has this thing set up in it. Again, I'll apologize for the wind. So you got to download the file and then just transfer the file straight over to this a plainly clean formatted SD card with nothing else on it so we're gonna let that sit there for a minute and now we're gonna look at the directions okay power on your unit yeah, we're gonna shut it off and do a reset and then we're gonna follow the instructions explicitly Okay. Power on the unit. Allow the unit to go through the complete startup before pressing any buttons or selecting any menu options. After the unit has completed the loading process and you have clicked through the warnings and information, place the micro SD card in the unit. Now, the micro SD card slot on this one, this Helix 7, is over here. You see that? Really down in there. And it's hard to tell which direction this card is going to go in. Okay, so it goes in with the color out. And you have to push it in with a fish hook. There it goes. Okay. Aha! Uh -huh. Replacing the software on this unit will restore factory defaults. Losing power during this process may corrupt the unit and require shipment to... Um... 
163 with 2.18. Yes. Do I really, really mean it? Yes. I think I misread that, because I'm a dummy. That second one was not, do you want to continue? The second one was, do you want to abort? So, try it again. Do you want to replace? Yes. Abort software update. <laughs> this is what I get for not reading. Good grief. No, do not abort. Whoa, there we go. Now it's doing something. <laughs> reading comprehension is hard, kids. Especially when you think you know what you're doing. We'll see what we can do here. Hopefully, we can get this all done. I'm going to try to do my Helix 5 after this to see if there's an update for that one. Might as well get the freshest software. One thing I think I noticed with this, the software update, I believe, will update this um, to a mega unit, which will allow me to spend another $1,200 for good. Uh, a big down imaging sonar unit that I can hook onto my trolling motor and get really cool pictures of the fish that I can't catch. So. Okay. I guess I can I'm shut it down because I don't like disconnecting cards. When it's hot. And then we're going to pop that little card out of there. There we go. Put this thing back. Make sure she stays nice and waterproof. Fire it up again. about be about right temperature is still good depth of the concrete that I'm sitting on is about right so I'm gonna have to go through and reset all of my settings tune this thing back up once we get on the water all right well now I'm gonna try to uh, catch my little five up there see if that process is any different All right, so this is my GPS-5, and again, to do this update, start it up, Helix GPS, oops, I grabbed the wrong software, I grabbed, because there's one I think that's just Helix-5 GPS G2, I got the Helix-5 Chirp GPS G2, so I have the wrong software, I'm going to run back in to get that, but first thing I want to do is... On the last one, we will restore the de defaults. Shut her off. And it's still the same card, and it's the same place where it goes, but uh, we're going to uh, go back in and make sure that I have the Helix 5 Chirp GPS G2, not just the GPS G2. So, back in a minute. So at this point, the procedure is basically the same. I'm going to turn the unit on. 
and wait until it goes through all of its stuff. Pop that same door off. You hear my wife coming home from the grocery store in the background. to install this little bugger like that yes install do not abort So now we're updating the software. Looks like it's gonna rain again. Man, we've gotten like 10 inches of rain in the last two weeks. This place is a mud hole again. And she's just about done. Okay, no update required. All right, so I'm going to shut that off. And pull the card. Put this thing back like that. Start it up one more time. I think that's what I got on there. I'm going to have to figure that out again. But uh, there she goes. Yep, I can feel my transducer thumping. The transducer on this one is actually at the end of the trolling motor, connected by this thing, so that I don't chop the wire in half with the prop like I did when I first fired it up. But anyway, shut that off. Put the cover back on. And that is how you update your software. So, the few little things that I use to do this I'll have available in my Amazon affiliate shop if anybody's interested. I always appreciate it. Otherwise, hope you're all having a good day and uh, good fishing.